Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys, Viper here, and welcome to another player review on the channel. Today is Monday, EA released another player SPC today. Today's is gonna to be a center back, a hard center back to link. Um, but if you did do the foundation cards, you know, that we got two weeks ago or so, you're going to be able to link this card relatively easily. Um, obviously, we got, uh, I don't really know how to say his name. I'm going to go with Tyler McGlory. I'm hoping that's right. Um, straight off the bat, he's six foot one, low high, which is great. Um, skill moves and weak foot does not really matter. Uh, if you can get a good weak foot on a center back, that is nice. Uh, but that is ultimately not the reason you use this kind of card. He's got 91 pace, 77 dribbling, 71 passing, 82 defending with 86 physical. We also got, got player picks today as well. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing them done live in abundance, we usually do 100, 200 on live stream. Come over to twitch.tv slash vitalization. But with that being said, this card looks to be great. Um, obviously, the more pace you can get at centre back, the better. And he, this card has it in absolute buckets, you know. 91 pace is absurd for a centre-back, especially this early on in the, in the game, with AC defending and 86 physical, which is quite good. Um, and the low-high work rates, which are really, really nice as well. As we go into his in-game stats, he's got very poor vision, but he's got great short pass and long pass. With OK reactions and OK composure, they've been quite nice to him in that regard, which is nice to see. Um, obviously, the stupid high agility which is really important on centre-backs. Um, you've probably been told this a few times, but having the high agility and balance on centre-backs is seriously important on FIFA, just so you're able to jockey quickly with them. Um, and obviously, with 91 and 91 on acceleration and sprint speed, his jockeying is going to be crazy. There's no doubt about that. Um, but when we look at his defensive stats, he's got only 80 interceptions, 76 defensive awareness, 88 stand tackle, which is an interesting split of defensive stats. Obviously, the interceptions are okay. The stand tackle is really nice, uh, but the defensive awareness is really low, which is giving me a few concerns about the card straight away, I won't lie. Um, so that's going to be really important to test that out um, just to see how his AI really defends for him because he could, could let you down in that regard. Um, you know, whilst he's going to be good when you're, you know, you're on him, you've got him selected. Off the ball, his AI might let you down a little bit, so I'm very, very intrigued to see what he's like in that regard. He's got 92 jump in, 80 stamina. You, you can have, like, 5 stamina and be okay at a centre-back. 91 strength with 80 aggression. Now, there are arguments to be made for having the shadow on this card. Um, obviously, the shadow will do more to his defensive awareness, I believe. Um, but his aggression is a bit low for what, you know, the kind of player this guy is. Um, so I think an anchor is probably going to be the thing we're going to go for on him. Um, but yeah, if you want to use a shadow to get the defensive awareness up higher, I totally understand that. Um, if I have a shadow on any of my other cards here, we can see. So actually, it only does five, so you're probably going to get more with an anchor, to be fair. You're going to get the same with an anchor, um, which is going to take him up to 81. So in my opinion, with, with him having that much speed, you really don't need to look at... Um, putting a shadow on him, um, especially when it does defensive awareness the exact same. As you can see here, we're getting plus 5 up to 96 pace. We're getting plus 5 on the interceptions, taking him up to 85. Plus 5 on the head and accuracy, which we don't really care about. Plus 5 on the defensive awareness, taking that up to 81. We're getting plus 10 on the stand tackle, taking it up to 98. With plus 8 strength, taking him up to 99 there. And plus 5 on the aggression, taking him up to 85, which is a bit better for me. Um, obviously, the way I play FIFA... He's very, very aggressive with only two centre-backs back um, and everybody else pushing forward. Um, if you guys have followed them tactics and you're watching this video via them tactics, you know, you're playing that kind of style, the full one to one two narrow video um, that I released, I'm still using them tactics. If you haven't watched that and you're looking at this card and you're looking to play a more aggressive FIFA, I'd highly recommend you go and look at the full one to one two video I did upload. Um, but basically, if you are playing that kind of style, this card will be good for you regardless of the defensive awareness. Just being able to jockey that quick 
and having that kind of speed is really, really important. In terms of the price of this card, he's coming in at an 85 with an inform and high chemistry, and an 83 with an inform and relatively high chemistry as well. Card's probably going to cost about 100, 150k, which is quite expensive for a card that only has 82 defending, but he kind of makes up for that and equalizes that with his really, really high pace and good agility and balance. I think this is going to be a great card in game. I'm a bit worried about his defensive awareness. Um, what we're going to do is probably going to, we're going to probably play a full game. Um, just going to keep you there for the entire game to see how we get on with him. Um, let the opposition come on to us a fair amount and just see what his jockey speed is like, see what his interceptions are like and all of that kind of jazz. So we're going to get into a game of playoffs and see how we get on with uh, McGlory. All right, lads, into the game we go with McGlory. It's going to be a hard na name to keep on saying. Oh, wow, that's a good team. This will be a good test for him. Um, I might just start calling him Tyler for the rest of the video. Just because I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. Um, it might be like Maglora. I don't, I don't know. Or Maglora, Maglora, it's got to be McGlory, right? Um, but yeah, let's stop saying that. Anyway, let's go with Tyler. Um, we're playing the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow And we're just going to see what he's like. His passing is going to be good, but his vision is so low that it's going to be an interesting uh, split, really. Yeah, we're just going to test him out, you know. Um, see how we get on with him. And yeah, see what happens, really. Okay. Yeah, his jockey speed is nice. What you're going to end up happening quite a lot for you guys. Um, you'll end up jockeying with him so quickly to cut passing lanes. That you can just second man press everything, which it will be really, really nice to have. Um... And, yeah, if you do play aggressive FIFA, I think he'll be absolutely insane for you guys, you know. Um, I think he'll be good still, like, regardless of the kind of style you play. I just think this card is kind of like a, um, a, a card designed for people that play super high echelon aggressive FIFA. I'm looking at keeping up with Mbappe there. Very, very intrigued to see what he's like. I don't think he's going to be too good on the uh, the second man press. Just because his uh, defensive awareness is quite poor and his aggression is quite low, generally. Um, he's actually going to have a good sprint boost as well. Which is going to be very, very strange. But I don't know why Mbappe's playing centre, centre mid, by the way. Uh, a bit strange, but... <clears throat> you know, we're just here to test out uh, McGlory. See how we get on with him. That should be us 1-0. Oh, good save. Um, I don't really want to... Oh, he's given a penalty, actually. So we'll get into another game after this, guys, if he does leave. Very nice. Um, if he does leave, yeah, we'll just get into another game. We didn't get too much of him there. Um, what foot is he again? I've already forgot. He's right foot. So let's put him over there. Because Davies has actually left as well. Obviously, you have Josh Lauren as well, which is another great card that you could do. But let's get back into the game anyway, boys. Um, and yeah, you know, what we're here to do is, ju is just see what his positioning is like. Off the ball, um, give him some time off the ball to see what he is like in that regard. Um, I'm not trying to, you know, do anything else, really. I'm not going to bring him forward. I'm not going to, you know, we, we want to see how good his passing is because I do think it's good to have good ball playing centre-backs. Um, but other than, than that, really, um, we're not really looking to do too much. Obviously, we're playing super aggressive. So you're going to see if he's good in that regard as well, which is nice to see. Obviously, oh wow, he just cancelled. This guy is good. Wow. I don't know if you saw that, but the second man press there from uh, McGlory was actually all right. Um, yeah, we're playing a serious sweat here as well, guys. So I'm going to have to be on my A game. I think you could argue you could play this card at uh, CDM as well. Shot cancelling and all sorts. Yeah, nice from McGlory there. Let's try him on that second man press. As I anticipated, he is not as good as other players on the second man press. And that is just because his AI is, isn't is as good as, um, for example, Virgil or Kimpembe or Marquinhos. Because they have higher defensive awareness, right? Um, and that's something you do have to take into consideration um, when you're completing this card. His AI isn't going to be as good. But if you're controlling him and you need to stop a counter-attack that's going very fast, he is your man for that. Um, and just being able to spin quickly with him is really, really nice. Look at that, man. Like His agility and balance is crazy. 
Um, and it's a big asset to have. Look at him, man. That's so nice. And obviously, with the changes to Weekend League now as well, um, having somebody like this for me, who plays super aggressive, is 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 beautiful to have. Um, his his agility and balance you can feel so much as well. Um, I've got Mbappe still playing at CDM, by the way. I need to change that at half time. But I guess it's a kind of good thing. Um, as it kind of means we get hit a bit harder because he can't uh, track any lanes with his uh, AI. And that is where you might suffer a little bit with McGlory. It's just his ability not to uh, track runs and stuff. Um, but if you can deal with that. Yeah, nice from him. Man, he's good. Okay. Yeah, man. This is a this is a must-complete SPC so far. In my opinion, guys. Even if you don't play aggressive. Being able to have that kind of player in your team. Because he's a ball-playing centre-back as well. Let's not forget. You know, he's able to bring the ball forward as well. Just because of how quick he is and how good his sprint boost is. Because um, just of his um, agility and balance. Um, he's able to really be an asset for you in, in a lot of regards. And what we're going to do, guys, because this guy's going to leave. I can't believe he is going to leave. Um, he was a good player. We'll get into another game. And I'll just keep you there for the first half. And then I'll bring you back for highlights in the second half. That's us qualified for Weekend League. Um, first game, I was very, very impressed. He is going to be good, guys. Um, he'll be an asset for you for a while. The kind of style of his card is kind of like a team of the season card. Um, obviously, the vision is low, which is an issue in some people's mind. Not for me, though. Because of how good his short pass it is, it kind of equalizes that as well, which is nice. Um, I find so far that we've got a bit of a gem here. Um, great SPC from EA. Coming in at like 100, 150k maximum. Um, and I don't know if you guys ever get in a scenario where... Um, you get caught um, at defence. I, I can't really show you an example. But you get impressed and you just need a quick way out. You can just sprint boost from McGlory and just get out. Um, that's something that I've done a lot in FIFA 21. To get out of tight spaces because people don't read the sprint boost. Um, but obviously the, the issue is you need really, really fast centre-backs to be able to do that. Um, that have good agility and balance. And McGlory is the first, to my knowledge... Uh, that has like really good defensive stats, but also, is he going to get to that? Interesting. Um, the, the first centre-back that's actually got good stats, but really, really fast. Um, and just having the, the ability to pass, you know, on a card like this, sprint boost out, you can drive with him a little bit, find a good pass, you know. Yeah, his passing is quite nice. I mean, obviously that went wrong, but that was because the entire defence, just put, uh, the attack just pushed up. Um, let's see what he's like here. I couldn't get him back across there. That's unlucky from this guy. He's offside. Um, yeah, just the kind of driving power this card has as well. It's just really nice to have. Um, his passing isn't, isn't the best, I must say. I've not been too impressed with his passing so far. Um, but yeah, you can still drive out with him though. He does have an okay pass, just not... Not like the longer passes from from what I can tell so far. If you do pass it quite long with him, they mess up. But if you're going like mid-range passing with him, um, I don't think you'll have an issue. Um, which is obviously really nice as well. Oh, good defending from this guy. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Oh, wow, he's missed it. That's one for one though, really, to be fair. I, mean, I just want to get hit on the counter, you know, because I think that's going to be a great a great way to review this card. That's nice, man. Yeah, if, if you do play, what I will say, guys, 100%, if you play really aggressive FIFA, I know I feel like I've said this like five times already. I probably have. But if you do play like, a, like heavy aggressive FIFA, being able to recover so quickly with him is so, so nice. I can already feel that. Um, he kind of plays into that that style, um, which is, is really, really good for me personally. I like to control the game. I like to have lots of players forward. I like to have lots of options in the attacking third so it does, the, the attack doesn't stagnate. Um, 
And then what will happen if you want to play like that? Um, if you sustain attacks, you're not going to have many people back, right? It'll be your two centre backs, maybe a C maybe a CDM. Uh, oh, that's a good ball, good goal as well. Um, yeah, that's what will end up happening. You will just uh, you you'll just end up having so many players forward that you need somebody quick with good agility and balance to cover you. Um, and that's why I really want Renato Sanchez, right? Because um, with his ability to to jockey fast um, and ping a pass out, it's really really important. Obviously, we got done there by the over-the-top. Um, his defensive awareness doesn't feel bad, though. You know, I'm not controlling him constantly, um, which is nice as well. I will say that. He's going to get that through. Nice, McGlory. Yeah, man. He's got good strength as well. Feels quite strong on the ball. Um, let's get it over to Tav. Let's play a lock in there. Ah, so lucky. Damn, how have I not got to that? This is where, this is the scenario I'm, I'm talking about, okay? Then we'll see what we can do here. Nice, good defending there. Um, but yeah, that is where you'll have the success with somebody like this. If you can get two of him, you know, I, I would say probably the closest other player to this card. It's probably somebody like um, Cannavaro Baby. Uh, maybe like... Uh, Gavardial's in form. If you've got that sitting in your, in your club, maybe. This guy's not a bad player, to be fair to him. I'm not playing the best mind, but... Just isn't doing the skill moves. But here we go again. This is a good, good test for McGlory, though. Let's bring Tav over there. Gonna need to be on McGlory again. Well, in from Tav. Yeah, did, did you see there as well? How... I was originally on uh, McGlory, then I switched into Tav. Um, just having that ability as well. Wow, let's move the keeper all the way over. Um, to, oh my God, game. To like get back in position that quickly. It's just so, so, so nice. I, I can't stress that enough. I need to score because this guy's annoying me a little bit. God, Lafont is so good, guys, by the way. If you need your goalkeeper, Lafont is probably the best keeper on the game. I'm not even capping. I've read it as well. There we go. There's he. Oh, my God. I can't equalise. It doesn't matter. I've already qualified for champs, you know. We're here to test out my glory. That just doesn't sound right, does it? As well. Oh, dear. Yeah, he he has been genuinely very good so far. I was really 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 worried about his um his lack of uh his lack of awareness, but I haven't really felt the uh, the issue with it to be honest. Oh, look at this guy, man! Nice again from him. Very very nice. Yeah, you can really really feel the agility and balance. To be fair. This guy doesn't even really defend, does he? Bit, bit annoying to play against. I'm getting Bappe uh, up front in the second half and we'll dominate this game. Um, but yeah, he has been good, guys. Really, really good so far. How long are we into this video? Uh, I've probably got like 15 minutes of content. Um, so I'll keep you here for like the first like 20 minutes maybe of the second half. Um, because it's a lot more raw then, you know. If, if I turned you away... Came back to highlights. It's not really the the truest review on him. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, I think this is the way we're going to be doing our videos moving forward. Is probably playing like a full game of them, especially when it's a centre back. Um, you really want to see that live, don't you? So, go on, in, Killian. Good read. Good read. This guy's annoying. I respect his hustle, though. I do respect his hustle. Well in, son. Yes. Oh, man. He's going to be my uh, my centre-back alongside Cordoba now, I think. I think that's what I'll go for, him and Cordoba. Pen. Thank you very much, ref. Because, obviously, Cordoba's got such good uh, pace as well. And what else does Cordoba have? Oh, my God. So lucky. Really, really good agility and balance. Um, 
It's a common theme on FIFA. If you can get the cards with really high agility and balance, it just lights out better than than players with, with with low agility and balance. You know, somebody like Virgil Van Dijk, for example, for a starter, he doesn't have a good pace split. Um, nice again. Okay. He does feel very, very powerful as well. Oh my god. Um, he doesn't have a good pace split, which is which is a poor start anyway. Um, but because of his body type and his just general lack of agility and balance, he just isn't really very good. Um, so you also have to take that into consideration with a lot of defenders. If you want to get good at this game, guys, somebody like McGlory in your team is a massive, massive, massive um, upgrade on somebody like Virgil. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to believe me on that, but I swear on everything. Um, from a from a pro player standpoint, um, obviously I'm retired now from the pro scene, but um, this is a what the hell? This is a serious serious upgrade on somebody like Virgil. And I see Virgil in a lot of people's teams still, um, and he just isn't the one really. See how quickly he can turn as oh my man, his turning is crazy. That is so valuable, guys. Honestly, I, I can't stress that enough. Let's get this goal. Who's that low? Back into VJ. VJ with the Elastico. Oh, yeah. There we go. Another great card that you guys should do as well. One of the most meta uh, wingers on the game, if not the most. We really want to try out his ball playing abilities, though, you know, because there have been some instances where his ball playing has been really, really poor. Um, and some where he's been... Oh, is he offside trapping? Fair play. We are playing a bit of a beast. Two beasts in a row here. And we slammed the first one, so... Into Tav. Tav's going to bang that. Oh, good save. Really, really good save. I feel like I've been in control of this game as well, guys. Um, and yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm just going to be a broken record, guys. But, you know, he, he is so, so good. And this is probably the main takeaway... He is so good at recovering from counter-attacks, which is the main way people play FIFA this year. Um, just counter you constantly, you know? Um, I've read that. Nice, well in. Um, yeah, which is the main way people play against you this year. Just that much speed is so, so, so valuable. And his strength as well. He's very good at holding off players. He's got a good body type in game. He, he, uh, he feels strong. Um, he turns so fast. This is a like a a must. My probably my first absolute must complete SBC on the channel, man. That's how good this card is, guys. And how valuable an asset he will be for you. Probably up until tots, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I really, really do think this this is an asset. This card, a real, real asset to your clubs. Let's see what he's got here. Look at his ability to just... Oh, he can really, really bail you out, this card. He can really, really bail you out. Um, which is something that I'm so desperate for. You know, if, if I get dispossessed there like that, just being able to turn fast and, you know, deal with things like this. Well done. Because you can just control uh, McGlory and just um, second man press for the other player and you've cut off all the lanes... Because he's so quick, you know. Um, it just makes him so valuable, guys, honestly. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. Here we go. Great instance again here. So I've got my glory now. I can second man press there. Cover this. And what's he got? Look at that. Easy. And that is so, so, so valuable. That is such a perfect example of what I want to talk about. Um, but yeah, guys, what I'm going to do now, uh, we're coming to the end of this game. I am going to score here, hopefully. And then I'll uh, bring you back for the final thoughts. There we go. I'll bring you back for the final thoughts, guys. All right, guys. So, two games done with Tyler McGlory. I personally think this is a must-complete SPC. Um, first of all, I'm going to go through the negatives with the card, all right? First negative is with the defensive awareness being so low, 
What you will feel is his off the ball um, when you're not controlling him or your second man pressing with McGlory. He will not be the best centre-back in the game. Um, because his defensive awareness is so low, he's not always in position. He's not tight marking as somebody like Marquinhos, for example, or Kimpembe. But when you're in control of this card and you're controlling him yourself, this is probably a top three centre-back on the game. I would argue he's very, very close to Cordoba in terms of controlling him. Cordoba's obviously a lot better when you're not controlling them. Just because, you know, the, the AI... On this defensive part here, um, on the defending stats even, a lot of these are for, you know, especially the defensive awareness, is there for off-the-ball, non-controlling. Um, so the AI, when the AI is controlling uh, the player, that is when you'll feel the defensive aware awareness issues. I mean, you can feel that in-game, for sure. Um, but in terms of if you're controlling the card yourself, yeah, top three centre-back on the game for me, easy. Um, the strength was really, really nice. You could feel that in game. The aggression does need a boost, regardless of if you're going to put an anchor or shadow on him. I really do think you need to do something to the aggression. Um, that's why I went for an anchor over a shadow. There's no point getting up to 99 pace. What is the point? Um, agility and balance was insane. The best thing about this card, being able to jockey that quickly to cover spaces is insane. Such a great thing to have. Didn't really feel any issues with his composure. Um, reactions are obviously really nice on this card as well. Goes good on the ball. You can sprint boost with him, which is crazy. Um, his passing was a very, very hit and miss. Um, don't expect like 20 yard driven passes with him. He's not good at them. But in terms of driven, you know, just normal passes, double X passes or short driven passes, very, very good in my opinion. Um, what I would also suggest, if you're not too worried, about the pace, obviously, we've already been 91. You could completely disregard the anchor and go for a backbone, or you know, you could just go for a sentinel. Um, even a guardian would be okay, but you need the aggression boost that does plus 10 to the aggression, plus five to the strength. He's got 99 jumping, 90 interceptions, and 86 um, defensive awareness. That is probably better if you want him to be good off the ball as an AI player. That is what I'd go for. In terms of um, when you're controlling him as well, he's a 10 out of 10. Probably off the ball, when the AI is controlling him, he's probably a 7 out of 10. That's the best way I can describe that. Um, so once more, if you do play highly aggressive FIFA, this is a must-complete card, okay? Um, if you don't leave too many players back when you're attacking, do this card and he will help you out an absolute ton. Um, that is the best thing I can say about him. He's not that hard to link this year, obviously with the Foundations cards, which is another plus for me. I really, really like this card. He'll probably be staying in my team for a long time. Um, and yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Really enjoyed this card. If you did enjoy it yourself, leave a like on it. You subscribe to the channel if you're not already. But that's going to be it from me for now. So take care.